Hey lady, so I'm coming to you today with a new video. First, as you see, my eyebrows are already done using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate. So next up, I'm just showing you my primer. I use L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base just to make sure I have a smooth base before I apply my makeup. As you see, I'm just going to dab it all over my face and make sure that it's rubbed in very well so that my makeup looks flawless. So next, I'm going to go ahead and use my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I have that in a 26 Amber. I'm going to use the wand to dab that all over my face. And it looks a little red on camera. But when I use this brush, which I'm going to use throughout the entire video because it's the one brush challenge, it looks a little red, but it will blend seamlessly. So just keep watching. So now I'm going in with my LA Pro Concealer in Cool Tan and I'm going to apply that underneath each eye down the shaft of my nose, my chin area, and my forehead. I do prefer my under eye and highlight to be brighter so that's why I chose Cool Tan but you can choose whatever color you like. As you can see, I'm dancing here. I don't know what I was listening to, but it had to be my jam. So again, I'm back with the same brush to uh, blend out my concealer. And right now it looks a little ghostly, but it gets better. So I'm just going to keep blend, blend, blending. As you can see, I finished blending and now I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to just apply that powder to every place that I highlight it. So that would be underneath each eye, my forehead, down the shaft of my nose as you can see, and my chin. Uh oh. I got some in the wrong place, but oh well, I'm just going to wipe it off and keep going. So here I am having a little turn up session. I think I was listening to Lil Wayne's No Ceilings, but I don't know. So here I am with Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark. I'm going to take the darkest shade to use as a contour. So I'm going to contour both sides of my face right under my cheek on the shafts of my nose and also my forehead area and it looks a little dark right now but it does after blending get better I did by the way get the black radiance true complexion contour palette from Walgreens for about $4.99 with a $2 off coupon so if you don't have that check it out Definitely a great buy. I was definitely concentrating very hard <laughs> with the same brush. Oh my goodness, you just don't know how hard it was to use one brush to do all of your makeup. So here I am making sure I got all the sides of my forehead um, and I'm trying to blend that in now. And now I'm going to go back in where I contour with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I'm just going to cut where I contoured. And it's just going to make my contour pop a little bit more. So I'll show you as I wipe off my uh, setting powder how much better my contour looks since I applied the setting powder. It definitely pops. So there you can see right there, but I'll show you again how good that contour looks. There. 
There it is. It's popping, y'all. <laughs> I'm just blending it out a little bit more. Oh, now I'm having a turn up break. I don't know what I was singing. I think maybe Neo, but I'm seen to be famous for these. So here I am with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. It's in the shade 320 Catwalk Pink. I'm just going to use the two shades on the ends, the gold and then the more of a champagne color on the cheeks, the apples of my cheek. Then I'm also going to use that on the shaft of my nose and a little bit on my forehead. I believe I used the gold color on my nose just to make sure it's popping and I showed you guys. So hang on, hang on there. So I'm coming and I have an oldie but goodie, the Wet n Wild in a the number 741. I don't know if Wet n Wild still sells it, but it's an amazing color and i know on camera it's not showing up as very pigmented but in person it is it looks great so here i am with my mac mineralized skin finish in the color natural dark and i'm just going to go under eye down the shaft of my nose my forehead and all the other areas that i highlighted um, just to bring it down a bit because it looks a little crazy. So then I use my Urban Decay um, De Slick Makeup Setting Spray with oil control because I am very oily. So it helps to kind of neutralize your makeup. So then I pulled out my BH Cosmetics 27 Color Palette in a neutral eyeshadow and blush. So I pointed out the two colors that I'm going to use and now I'm going in with the gold eyeshadow that I pointed to. I'm just trying to make sure that it pops up. I've done both eyes as you can see and this is how it looks so far. Using one brush is really hard, but I'm just going to go ahead with the darker brown color and do the outer corners of my eyes and hope for the best. So here I am just trying to make the best of it um, and see how the color comes out. It looks very pigmented, um, but I just have to make sure I blend it really well. And I will go in and do that later. So as you can see, I was not satisfied with just those two colors, so I went back in with a kind of a mauve pinkish color, and I'm just going to make that more of a transition color between the gold and the dark brown. Now I'm just going to use some false eyelashes that I got from a dealer uh, from AliExpress, a vendor, and I'm going to apply those off camera. I struggle with putting on eyelashes. I just started. So as you can see, I got them on and I did use my uh, Lash Duo brush on adhesive. Oh, and I forgot, I want to do my lips and I forgot my mascara. So I went back in with CoverGirl, the Super Sizer. It's waterproof. And I got that in black, very black, actually. So yeah, my favorite color, my MAC Ruby Wool. So if you don't have it, you better get you some. It is an amazing color, very pigmented. It's matte and it lasts a very long time. I do recommend that you wear a liner with that, but... For the purpose of this video, I did not bother with a liner. So as you can see, I'm taking off my head wrap and I have two braids. I'm just showing you the length. My hair is not stretched at all. I did not blow dry it. I'm just showing you the length so far. So as you can see, I'm putting on my wig and I'm going to go ahead and untwist the two twists you see in the front of my hair just so that my hair can blend well with the wig. Now I'm using my Hicks Edge Control just to create some baby hairs. Um, I love them. I'll probably have them in every video. And ta-da! This is my final look. So stay tuned and find out how and why I created this look with my one brush. Hi ladies! So I am coming to you to show you my finished results. I use this brush um, and it doesn't have a name. I bought it off of AliExpress. It came in a set of five. Um, so I came to you guys with this face that I did with that brush for a challenge by my friend Ashley's Joyce. So I was challenged to do a full face of makeup in 10 minutes 
with one makeup brush and it's any makeup brush of your choosing so i chose this one because i've been seeing it all over youtube and i got mine today so i said why not so i did a full face i did um blush i did um eyeshadow i of course put on my lashes and lipstick with you know glue and you know a tube of lipstick i did foundation i contour i highlight it i did everything with this brush so ladies um tag you're it and if you would love to do this challenge just go ahead do it make sure you tag me ashley's joys and whoever else you may see doing the video so i hope you ladies enjoy and this is my finished result so this is Nay Forever Fab. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching and have a great day. Bye guys.